Good morning, our viewers. Once more, we're back again today. Our morning devotion is simply entitled, A Very, Very Sad Event. And it is entitled, The Tears of a Torture. The Tears of a Torture. On this blessed day of 2nd October 2024, we're going to see a sad, a very sad event that took place in Spain, Madrid, around the area near Madrid. Let's close our eyes for a word of prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, please be our teacher today. Bring the Holy Spirit to inspire us. We're inviting him in your precious holy name, I pray. Amen. The tears of a torture. Now, most religious people believe that by killing or by harming people of their non-religious sector, they believe they're doing a service for their own God. Among the religious sector are the Muslims. They believe by killing the non-Muslims, they're doing right service. So way back in Spain, Madrid, this was around March 11th, 2004. The time was between 7.30, 7.36 and 7.40 a.m. A tragic, a very, very chaotic event really happened. Now, it happened on March 11th, 2004, whereby a train was traveling. Now, it had set off the train was packed with men, women, and children. Now, these were traveling. They had stepped up from Henares, Henares Corridor. This is an area that is just next to Madrid. That's found at the suburbs of Madrid. Madrid is found in Spain. And they were heading to, they were heading to Atocha Station. Now, these were Roman immigrants. And Atocha Station was the most important train hub in the city. That is where they were heading to. They were Roman settlers and they were traveling to Atocha just in the city. And this was the most busiest station. However, between 7.36 to 7.40, before the arrival to Atocha, there happened to be a blast. The train were, there were bombs that were put or that were placed and they exploded in the train. It is believed that the explosions ha uh, happened or affected four trains. And these explosions were 10 explosions. They exploded at a, a similar time. That is when the explosions happened and it affected four, train, four trains, which left a tragedy of 191 people dead and 1,858 people wounded. It was really a chaotic and tragic experience. What was really the cause? Who really did such a very, very disgusting thing? It is believed that the Al-Qaeda, Al-Qaeda terrorists, they put a cell. And they happened to put cells, bomb cells, under these trains. Now, the Islamic organization was the author of the massacre. There were al Qaeda's from the Islamic organizations. They put these explosions under these trains and they exploded at the same time. 
Now, among the people who, were, who died were two Adventists, very faithful people. The first Adventist was a, a Roman Adventist, young Nicoletta Diak, a Roman Adventist, who died instantly. He died instantly. And then another was Emelina Popescu, was also a Roman Adventist, whose body was simply unrecognizable because the explosion was so, so, was so, so fierce. So her body was not even recognized. Now, the, the gravely wounded were Margarita Sereto, a Spaniard, with injuries in her foot and ears. She had injuries in her foot and ears. That was Margarita Sereto. We also had Sihuatu Lorin, a Roman who was seriously wounded, who later wrote a book and the attack. She wrote the book, how this attack occurred. This was Sihureta Lorin. She wrote about the incident. We also see people like Emelia Mavru, also a Romanian, with injuries in both foot and her face. She conceived injuries in both her foot and her face. We also see Silvio Jania, who was traveling in one of the trains and told the details of the tragedy. She was unharmed because there were no explosions in her wagon. Fortunately, she was not harmed. There were no explosions in her wagon. So on this train station, we got authors, we got narratives, we got people who died instantly, and we got people who got injuries. However, this train consisted of innocent people. These were children, casual workers, innocent travelers. Remember, they were Romanians and they were heading to a torture station. Now, the terror is sought to cause highest number of death simply because they wanted to, to get an awareness, social awareness in the place. That was mainly their worst. That was mainly their main aim. So, furthermore, they thought that by doing this action, they were doing a religious favor in their religion. They had different religious motives. So they killed innocent people and they were seeking for religious motives. Now, the Bible describes the Heavenly Father as a loving, kind, and patient father. These terrorists thought by doing this in the Islamic faith, it's a, a good or an, a, a, an affirmative, positive religious action. But the morning devotion writer is trying to clarify that God is very patient, very kind, and so loving. And he's trying to say, uh, he has proven God that God is good in his own life. The God of the Bible cannot inspire an attack, a crime, offering, absolutely not. Instead, he inspires forgiveness and mercy. My brethren, my brethren, let us copy the character of Jesus Christ. Kindness, mercy, and let us copy his character. Just like the terrorists did, tears in a torture, destroying innocent soil for the purpose of their own gain. God's leadership is not that way. Let us try to copy the leadership of God. Seek the Lord today from the heart and live in a way that honors Him. Let's live in a way that honors God. And let us remember that there is a God in heaven. Whatever we do, God notices. And he really loves his creatures. God is so hard when we 
when we hurt these humble creatures. Be responsible. Be kind for God's creatures. Don't be a destructive aid. That's like the terrorists. Let's do the opposite. Let's love, be patient, and copy the character of God. May God bless you and thank you for listening. Let's pray. Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you. Just like a torture, we want to be good and take your character. Help those who are still planning wicked plans to know that they're doing wrong. And we're asking for the Holy Spirit to inspire them to stop doing whatever they're doing. In your precious holy name I pray. Amen. Thank you.